they were unable to get anything going. And I just had in uh, one of those, I don't even know what it would be for this point. There's supposed to be more lax now in the restrictions for COVID, but some message that just automatically shut the camera off, some important uh, gubernatorial um, <laughs> announcement or another. Anyway, anyway, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's have at it here for period two. It's, uh, yeah, we'll go with Watson and Brown right off the hop. And yeah, we'll just sleep on who we have on. This is usually what I like to do actually is play the, the line that I want to begin the period. I play them at the end of the prior period. So I'm ready to go for the following uh, period. So it's going to be a 3-8 this time. Right defenseman home. Marty Brown here, 24 seconds in with a 2-12. And home nine. That's going to be a shot for Brown. Brown with a 1-9, but he needs a 1-4 to Glenn Hall. We look, he got a little lucky there. 2-6 Hall. Maybe he, he didn't see it well. That save was made on instinct here with 111, the P3 Rattel. He's going to send it back to Harry Howell. Minute 12 in now, Howell with a 5-8. And play stoppage here. Howell is actually iced it. So face off here in New York's end with a 6-7. Fizzer left defenseman. Howell will come away with it off the draw. One by Rattel. We have a 3-5 here for Harry Howell. And we have another icing. We have to check to see how Howell is. With the two, they don't have anybody who can bruise. Howell will be fine. Escaping that by the skin of his teeth. Let's have another face off in New York's end. 5 6 for this one here. Left defenseman Joe Watson here up to two minutes for the Red Wings. Plus two to his end scores. And that's going to be yet another play stoppage. So very tentative out of the gate here for these teams once again. Uh, let's go to, uh, although I guess there was a shot that was almost in range. Anyway, seconds on, seconds now, seconds out. We have a 1 6 here. That is left wing home. Gary Jarrett, 224. Here, 5 3 for Jarrett. Oh my goodness. And what do you do if you're Detroit? Bit of a dog's breakfast here. So Jarrett's going to the box again. I'm not going to take that penalty away from him. And it's going to be a 6 3. So that is, it's just Jarrett and only Jarrett with a 4 7. But I think if this were real, I think he'd be riding the pine. So after sitting the Simbin for a pair, I think he's going to ride the pine for the remainder because I just got an idea. So Lowell McDonald, he can play either wing uh, equally well. So he's going to he's going to slide over to the left side. And we're going to get Bill Goldsworthy. Bill Goldsworthy. I'm pretty darn sure, again, I took a couple months, about two and a half months away from this. Uh, became an amateur sleuth or <laughs> A literary one. And uh, so I'm going to, um, and I still am, but I'm going to put Goldsworthy in there. But on the kill, I'm not going to have this line. Let's go back to Boudreaux, Ted Irvin, and John Paul Parise, where for the Rangers, I think they'll leave on who they have on. The first line is tired. Yeah. And uh, maybe Sutherland and Cajon this time. So face off here. I don't want to, to uh, think about this stuff too, too much. Face off here with eight. That center power play. That is uh, Phil Goyette, and so two forty-eight. And I should mark here four twenty-four for the penalty to expire. So two eight here for Goyette on the power play. Shot on goal. Goyette five eight. Not a great shot. That's a couple of kind of lousy ones for him, and it will go away to right wing Jean Paul Parise here at three twelve with a one four and shot of home, which he is a shot on goal for Parise. Short handed five six here. On the rebound, that will go to Goyette here again at 336. So we have a 4-9 this time. And that's just going to be no time elapsed. He's going to uh, pass it across to right wing Rod Gilbert. Gilbert here with a 3-8. That's going to be a shot on goal for Gilbert on the power play. And a 6-9. Gilbert whiffed on that one. Another 6-9. Left defense from Pete Gogan coming away with it here at the four-minute mark. Might need to change momentarily. With the 210, that is a play stoppage that will permit him doing so. 24 more seconds of power play time. I think what New York does now is they try to maximize it with their top line. And uh, for the Red Wings, I think actually as well, they'll put their top line out. And uh, Duff will be the uh, third man to come on there for the forward unit. So 3-5 in the faceoff. That is left defense from Joe Watson here up to the 424 mark. 211 for Watson. And that's going to be taken away to left wing there, Jill Tremblay. But that will get uh, Detroit back to 5-5 five and five here. Trombley running out of time, 5-4. and four. So the 448 here, Trombley now with a 1-7 pass bonus of 5. They don't have it. That goes to right defenseman Arnie Brown here, 5-12 in here with the 4. 
uh, eight here with a four, eight here, four brown. Let me try to talk faster than real time. I'm going to try to get this done in under 20 minutes in second period. Anyway, now that I've said that here, once again, four, eight for Ernie Brown with a six. We're double checking here. That's going to be turned over to two left defense from there. Harry Hall, 536. And Hal here with a 611 is uh, taken away as well by Detroit here. Russo up to the six minute mark here with a one, eight. And that's going to, whoops, going to be a shot for Russo before he heads off. Five, eight to Glenn Hall. We look here, two, seven. That's a rebound given up back to one. Bobby Russo, three, ten on the clearing attempt. Three, ten on an eighth. They're able to do so. That will go to Connolly, who will tread water while the teams change. And uh, who will idle, I guess, while the teams change. Let's get the second line out there. Now with Bill Goldsworthy. So here at 624, 5-9. Uh, Did I put Goldsworthy in the right pocket? His card's a little unclear. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I tucked them doubly in behind. Okay. Anyway, so Wayne Connolly here at 624 with a 5-9. And that's going to be a shot for Connolly before he heads off. And he's all out of steam, though. It's going to be a 4-5. And right defense from there. Brent Hughes coming away with it. Um, yep. And uh, Connolly will change. Let's go to New York's uh, third line, actually. There, 624. Okay, 648 now. It's going to be a 310 here for Brent Hughes. He will complete the pass. Hughes gets it across to Gogan. Back to Hughes. They play catch 4-6 this time. And uh, shot on goal if home. Hughes is home. Not a great shot, though. 1-8. Hall been a little lucky here early, and he knows that he will hold on to it. Face off here, we get a 1-5. That's visitor center. Kurtenbach coming away with it in New York's end. We have a 5-7 here for Kurtenbach. And they don't have pass bonus of 5. So right wing Bill Goldsworthy to the 8-minute mark here, the 5-3. And 10, that's going to be Goldsworthy's first shot here. And it's an awful one. We have a 2-9 here. So left wing here, Bob Palford now with it. Palford here up to 824. But in the meantime, I will sneak in a change there. We'll finally let these guys play some 5-5. Five and five. I feel like Ted Irvin has just been warming the bench to this point. And uh, Palford away with it here up to 824. I'll keep that roll. Palford has taken a penalty, though. So Palford, let's see here. Odd, not delayed. Odd, 10. Almost. Oh, my goodness. Palford with a 2 and 10. I haven't had this in forever. Palford, that was just a minor. So Palford's going to go for 2 and 10. He had something to say to the official about that call. And Palford's going to be away now for the bulk of the period where... Um, so two, and uh, would that have been 840? No, that would have been 824. He's a bit cranky, a bit tired. And uh, so Palford here, maybe I'll do another. I have to come up with another uh, 1824 check mark there. We'll do something like that. So uh, what I will do as well in the meantime, I think, is get Bill Sutherland in Palford's place here. So Sutherland going into the pocket and uh, Bob Palford will um well he will be unavailable so he's going to the box and then to uh well he's going to sit for two and ten anyway um whoops what am i doing nope that's right yep extra no right extra players okay All right, so for the kill, I think leave on Howell and Boyvin and Detroit for their sake. Uh, Crashly? Mm. Watson. Watson and uh, maybe Pitt Martin out to, uh, on the point. Okay, anyway, and we will exclude Sutherland for the time being. So it's going to be 4 5 here. That is right defense and visitors. So Leo Boyvin here, 848. Boyvin here with a 2 3. And that's going to be coughed up to left defenseman here. I did say Watson. Watson here at 9 12 with a 2 6 and play stoppage. 5 7 on that draw. So visitor right defenseman Boyvin again here, 9 36 with the 5 10 here for Leo Boyvin. 5 10 5 turned over once more here to center, but they're eating some time here at the 10 minute mark. 5 6. And uh, that is double checking here. 3 5 8 12. But then they have the. Uh, 14, wait, 5, 6, and 8, so that's 9, and uh, 7, 10, 12, and 2, 
No, that's a shot for Drew Dress. Should have known that would have been actually. It felt like it was. Just wanted to double check. It's an awful one anyway. We get a 5 8 here for Hall. Left wing. That goes to Kurtenbach here. 10 24 tail end here. So really only mounting one shot on the power play was Detroit. 5 2 for Kurtenbach though. Turned over. That goes to left defense from Joe Watson. Up to 10 48 here though. I need to usher in the change here. Let's get the top line out there. Maybe for both uh, of these teams. And so 1-8 there for Watson before heading off. Turned over. That will go to Jean Rattel here up to 11. Whoops, up to 11-12. And 5-8 there. So we have, that is a uh, um, pass. That's going to right wing Wayne Connolly again. Still waking up 4-8 here for Connolly. And 4-5, not a good shot in range. Uh, we have a 4-10 here for Gump, Wersley here, 4-10, and that will go to center Jean Rattel. So New York, they control the rebound. That's going to be another shot for Rattel, 5-5. Worsley with a save, 1-8, and he'll hold on to this one. So let's get another change, even though they didn't get a full shift necessarily. Goldsworthy will get some more ice time. Watch him take a penalty. And... Uh, we should change the defense as well if we didn't already. Yeah, something happened here. I think I had New York's defense out too long, but oh well. It's going to be a 5-5 here. That will go to centerman Eddie Joyelle here off the draw, winning it to himself. They're getting it back at least 3-7 for Joyelle. Shot with a possible rebound, 4-8 to the 3. We go. That bounces back to left wing low. McDonald, 4-7 here, looking to clear in a 7-6, 4-7 on a 6. McDonald with the follow-up here, 3-5. Also not in range, 1-7 here, left wing, that goes to Solo McDonald here, 12-48 with a 1-7, and uh, they don't have a pass bonus of four. Coming away with it for Rod Gilbert here at 13-12 with a 3-9, and a 3-9 and an 8, double-checking shot for Rod Gilbert with a 2-4. That is exactly what he needs. Looking to the 3-10 there for Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy has made a dynamic stop, and Ernie Brown coming away with it so close there, but not quite for Rod Gilbert. Gilbert, who's been out injured for a few games, and 1-6, that's a play stoppage. So deflected up and out of play, and we have a 6-9 here in the faceoff. Two home center, Eddie Joyelle, up to the 14-minute mark. 3-11 for Joyelle, and uh, that's going to be yet another play stoppage, so... These teams running low on fumes will change. Let's get third lines out there, actually. We'll go three on three here. I feel like because of all the penalties, we haven't had this matchup much. And uh, for that matter, maybe I'll leave Watson and Brown out there. Every once in a while, I'll do something like that. We'll have Howell and Boyven take to the ice again. Here we get a 4-9. Might even roll in Crashley's card, though. <coughs> At some point here, give him a little ice time. But 4-9 in the faceoff. Uh, that is left defenseman here, Harry Howell. 14-24 for Howell, back to 5-5, five and five. and it's going to be a 6-7 for Howell. That is a shot with possible rebound for Howell. That's an awful one, but maybe it wasn't the point. The point could be that it went back to Kurtenbach, but it's been cleared successfully by Detroit. Jean-Paul Parise, now the recipient of it, with a 4-8 there for Parise, and the D7 shot for Parise, 4-6, no good. 2-5 here, that is right wing. Leon rushed forward to the 15-12 with the 5-5. Five five. And uh, shot for Kurtenbach, or I did say rush for, didn't I? Whoops. Uh, also would have been a shot, though. So it's going to be, uh, both would have penetrated the Red Wings defense there. Gump Worsley with the 3-8 held on to. And uh, let's see here. Let's go to, um, I guess, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are the top line for a reason. Let's get them out there. Even though, I guess we're mid-shift, but whatever. Uh, so Detroit's defense won't linger as long as well. We will leave Howell and Boyven out there, though. Um, so anyway, with a 2-9 here, let's go to left wing here. Visitor, Shil Tremblay. So Rattel wins another faceoff here. 4-12 for Tremblay. 5, don't think so. That doesn't get through. Taken away, sent by the defense to Del Vecchio at the 16-minute mark here with a 5-9. And uh, that is a 7. That's going to be a shot. Del Vecchio with a 1-11. That is blocked, a critical block there by Harry Howell. So the puck will go to Boyvin's going to take it away here from an ailing Howell. And uh, 1 6 there for Boyvin, a 7. So a shot before he heads off, 1 9 there in the shot. Oh, 1 8 would have been in range. So Worsley, will he hold on? 5 5. He'll get it to center. We're going to say at this point, though, oncoming center, we will factor in a change. We'll say that Eddie Joyal here with the puck. And uh, we'll do this. We'll just change everybody out. 
and get Watson and Brown back up there as well for the Red Wings and Joel here at 1648 with a 4-2. And that's not going to be a penalty, so it goes to, because it's it's X1. Good variety here on the Matrix. It's going to be a 4-9 here for Rod Gilbert. 4-9, Gilbert with a shot here, 3-7. Uh, 5-8 here for Gump Worsley. 5-8, that goes to Joyelle. 1736 here with a 6-7. And uh, pass bonus they don't have to center Phil Goyette at the 18-minute mark now. With the five or six eleven rather for Goyette. Six eleven home eight turned over again with a lot of turnovers means we're getting through this more quickly. Paulford is eligible to take to the ice again. We're Goldsworthy here with a one seven. Goldsworthy shot possible rebound. He's not done yet. It's not a great shot. That goes to left defenseman Joe Watson. Successfully cleared by the Rangers to right defenseman uh Jim Nelson, he'll roll and then head off. Detroit will put Hughes and Gogan out there and get their top line back out there as well. And New York as well probably will respond with it. Both of these teams needing a goal. Nelson here at 1848 with a 2-7. And uh, PF2, that's intercepted. That's going to be a shot, though. It's handed back to Gogan. Gogan with the 3-9. And uh, Nelson's going to head off there somewhere in the aftermath. And room. it's going to be a 1-7 there. For uh, Hall, that will be kicked back to Duff here. 19-12, final minute of the second with the 210 there for Duff. And punted spectacularly to Jean Rattel with the 3-6 there for Rattel. Shot with a possible rebound, the initial one. 2-8, that's going to be in range. So Worsley, we got to look. We got to roll and look here. Worsley with a 4-8, that's going to be our first goal. Jean Rattel coming into this one, one of the, he had nine points in eight games coming into this one, five goals and nine points. That'll be goal number six for Rattel on the season here in game number nine and his 10th point. So Jean Rattel breaking the scoreless tie here late in the second. The exact time of the goal, we have uh, five, six, meaning uh, 1931 and... Uh, there will be a pair of assists on it, so it's going to be Rattel from Wayne Connolly and Harry Howell. Rattel from Connolly and Howell in 1931, and Detroit needs the goal. So face off here, six twelve visitor left wing Trombley final twenty four seconds five eight, and play stoppage anyway. So thereafter too, I did that one in seventeen minutes. When there are fewer goals and penalties, obviously, logically, it goes by more quickly. Let's let Gogan and Hughes start with Detroit. They don't really have, especially since Bergman is out injured long term, they don't really have, they're also suffering injury to Bob Wojtowicz and Howie Young. So they don't really have, they just kind of have four defensemen that they uh, kind of rely on by committee. Uh, so yeah, we'll leave on who we have on, in other words, and let's get this going here for period three here with the three, four. And 3-4 off the opening draw. That is right defenseman Rattel will cancel out, though, to Leo Boyvin here. 24 seconds in, 3-8 for Boyvin. And penalty, of course. Okay. Let's see, though. Boyvin might not be the only one. He's good at agitating and taking people with him, but he is the only one. So Boyvin here, New York to the kill. Detroit with a chance to tie. We'll exclude Boyvin. I'm going to roll on Harper's card. And, of course, we have to take a forward off there as well. It's so early into it. I'm just going to take Connolly off here. And Detroit has on who they need on. So um, keep it simple when possible. So it's going to be when and where possible. It's going to be a 6-5 here. That is left wing here. Dick Duff here up to the 48 second mark. Duff here with a 4-11. And eighth be a shot on goal here. And the power play for Duff with a 2-6. That's in range. Looking to tie immediately here. 6-7 for Glenn Hall. Really good save for Glenn Hall, but he has given up a rebound. That will go back to Brent Hughes. I'm going to say Brent Hughes and Pitt Martin here in the power play. And uh, so looking to clear here in New York with a clearing of 7. Harper has a clearing rating of 3. 2-11, they will be able to clear. That will go to 5. Left wing, Shell Tremblay. Minute 12 in now. Tremblay shorthanded with a 4-9. And uh, that's going to be true. Uh, no, actually, no, that will be a shot for Tremblay. Not a good one, though. So Worsley here with a 3-7. And uh, to the right defenseman, though, to Harper. So they are booing the Detroit power play now. Harper with a 6-4. That is a play stoppage. A chorus of boos at the Olympia 2-3. They got to, Their team has to get going here. So Bobby Rousseau at a minute 36 here now with a 6-9. And uh, 10... Yeah, no, that'll be a shot for Russo. Russo with a 4-6 here in the power play. Not going to be quite in range. 2-5-4. 
Glenn Hall, two right wing, acting right wing. Jean Rattel here, two minute mark with the 2 7. And uh, turned over again spectacularly to Russo. 24 more seconds. Just leave on who we have on here. Uh, there was a stoppage there, so they took a breather. It's going to be a 4 4 this time for Roussel. The pass, he's going to get it back to uh, Pitt Martin. And Pitt Martin here with a 3 7. That'll be a shot for Martin. Uh, 4 5. No good. That goes to uh, Hall here with the 2 8. That will go back to, I'm going to say, uh, Bill Goldsworthy on coming. And uh, so they've killed. Let's uh, change lines, not think too much of it. And uh, Bill Goldsworthy here. To 248 now, Goldsworthy here with the 3 6, and that is a D7 shot for Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy with an awful shot, that's a 5 7 now, and face off. In New York's end, 1 8, 1 2, visitor left defenseman Larry Kahan, 3 12 with the 4 10, and uh, PF1 shot, intercepted shot on goal 4, Joe Watson, Watson 4 8. To Hall, we look here with a 5-8, and uh, left wing here, Camille Henry with it at 336, and 5-5 five, five for Camille Henry. Um, shot for Henry, 3-3, three, three. that is in his range, except that it's blocked, a really crucial block there. Uh, Ernie Brown blocks it, and he's coming away with it. Strong man, that Ernie Brown, so we have a 5-8 here. That is going to be turned over. So Brown, he had nothing left, though, after that. Trying to do it all himself. Um, he'll head off. And uh, let's go to Detroit's third line. And probably New York's as well here. 424 Goyette. 5-3 uh, there for Goyette. That's a shot, though. Goyette with a 310 on his shot. And 4-6 there for Worsley. Held on to New York. Will change. Face off in Detroit's end. Let's get this line out there. And... Uh, Got to get something to eat here before long. Anyway, 1-5 here in the face-off. That is uh, Kurtenbach here to 448 with a 4-6. And shot for Kurtenbach. Shot for Kurtenbach, 5-10. Worsley, 1-7. Uh, rebound given up here, 5. Back to left defenseman, Harry Howell. They can't clear. Howell here with a 4-5, though. That's not in range either. 2 Worsley, we look 6-8. And held on to. I think we have on who we need on. So... Um, one nine here. That is one by the home team. Brent Hughes here. Five twelve, five twelve, uh, five twelve, and five twelve, and uh, two turned over right defense and Leo Boy from five thirty six. Boy from two eleven, and uh, D four. So unable to get anything, make anything happen either here at six minutes five three. And is Brent Hughes okay? Has become the question for Kurtenbach, but no, Hughes will be just fine. Uh, we will change. I'm setting them down. I'm not dropping them. Uh, I want to get Crashly on at some point just because. It's fun to say Bart Crashly. Uh, so let's go back to line one. Harper's had a little ice time. And back to... The now line one with Mahovlich and Howe being out. <laughs> this has really <laughs> affected Detroit's offense, uh, needless to say, through two and you know two periods and some change, it would appear that way. So six nine, that is center here, Alex Delvecchio, six twenty four, one seven. And shot with a possible rebound for Del Vecchio here. Six, we re-roll the red. That's another six. So back bounces back to Del Vecchio. Three eleven looking on the seven. And they're able to do it. So to three, two right wing, Wayne Connolly, 648, three, five for Connolly. And the eight, double checking. That's going to be a shot for Connolly, five, nine. Nope, three, two. And that goes back to right wing here. So New York maintaining control here with a four, six, though. That'll be a play stoppage. Face off this time in New York's end. And a one, four, that is left defense from Joe Watson, 736. And Watson here with the 3-5. Should it go to the right defenseman? I'll say Crashly. 3-5. Uh, How's Watson? He's fine. Another play stoppage here. It is called face-off. 5-7. And that is uh, right defenseman there. Jim Nelson. 8-minute mark here. 4-7. And uh, shot with a possible rebound for Nelson. That's an awful one. Maybe it was more of a shot pass, but it's going to bounce back to Nelson himself. It's going to be cleared. Two left defenseman. Joe Watson. So maybe I'm at 824. I got a weird feeling that I am. I don't want to, nah, just in case I'm not. Uh, okay, we'll do this. Do this. 
and watts in here now to 824 at least if we weren't there before pf3 that'll just be sent to pete gogan 848 so gogan here 55 and that is a pass up to uh, up to Lowell McDonald, who then hands it back to Gogan here, one nine, and plays stoppage. Uh, one two here in the draw, right defense from Visitor this time. So up to nine thirty six here with a two ten, and that will be a pass completed. Up to Gilbert back to Boyvin, up to the ten minute mark here with a one seven shot with a possible rebound for Boyvin. Three six here, six must re roll to the four that goes to center Phil Goyette, but they clear Goyette. That'll be taken away from him. Both teams here being defensively quite conscious. And Joyelle to 10 24 here with a 6 7. But um, he doesn't have the pass bonus of 6. So that's going to go to, we'll give it to uh, Leon Rush for. Might also try to roll Palford back into this at some point here. Though, I mean, yeah, yeah, I should actually, protecting the lead and all. But Rush for here to 10 48 here with a 6 7. And that is, uh, do they have a pass bonus of two? They don't. That goes to center Boudreaux here at 11 12. And uh, five, six here for Boudreaux is uh, shot. Yes, shot. No, not barely at all. Anyway, it's going to be a 1 5 there. So little chance in that shot. Whoops, that's the first die out, I think. 3 5 for Kahan this time, play stoppage. Face off 310 is uh, center. Um, who draw here at the 12 minute mark with a 110 and P4. So he will hand it to oncoming center. Let's get Del Vecchio back out there. He hands it to Del Vecchio. Detroit needs the goal. New York might as well counter with their uh, line one. 1224 here for Del Vecchio with the 3 8 and. Um, Play stoppage. Icing actually face off in Detroit's end here. 2 5. And that is right defenseman Arnie Brown here to 12 48 with a 5 9. And uh, 5 9 4 punted. That goes to one center. Jean Rattel here 13 12 4 3 here. And he is not at home. So unspectacular here. 13 36. We have a 6 5. Unspectacular is understating it. Another play stoppage. So. Anyway, with a 1-5, this is a doll game after a pair of dramatic ones, though the scores were lopsided. At least this one, the score is close. You never know. Anyway, Jean Rattel here after the 14-minute mark looking to add a little insurance. He had the uh, ice-breaking goal, and he has a shot on goal. With a 1-10, he's in range again. Could it be Jean Rattel 2, Detroit nothing 5-9? And Gump Worsley's made a save. So no, Worsley says no. It's Rattel 1, Worsley 1. And uh, that will go to... I'm going to say that'll be kicked the right wing. Bill Goldsworthy here in New York. Um, maybe Palford and Henry's place actually here, for if I can remember to. So Goldsworthy here, 1424 there. I'll put a little marker there and confuse myself and somehow suddenly think that New York is suddenly shorthanded uh, for reasons I can't remember. Anyway, a 6-9 there for Goldsworthy. So uh shot there for Bill Goldsworthy, 4-3. That's going to be actually not blocked, but screened with 3-3. Doesn't matter. Um so 311 uh left defenseman here for the rangers here 1448 am i double shifting them possibly unintentionally if so larry kahan here with a 38 he's not at home that's going to go to right defenseman uh bart crashley will roll for him here in the 6-6 for crashley the p3 pass completed to four right wing again bill goldsworthy here 1536 goldsworthy here with a 2-9 and shot on goal once again for goldsworthy with a 1-6 looking to tie and can Glanton Hall make the big save here? No, we have a tie game late here. Bill Goldsworthy with a with a goal in uh, what I believe, again, is his eternal six. He might have had a shift or two somewhere, a couple minutes of ice time earlier in the season. But as it stands now, Bill Goldsworthy has scored here 312 at the time. So full 24 there. So 1536, the exact time of the goal. It's going to be Goldsworthy from... Goldsworthy from... Uh, from Ernie Brown, or no, I said the Crashley, and it would be Crashley, so Goldsworthy from Crashley there, a couple of new guys probably getting their first points of the season, and uh, face off, I guess, it's only 24 more seconds, what what could possibly happen, left wing Lowell McDonald, up to 16 minutes, trying to show me what could happen, he's going to ice it, that's what's going to happen, so I think probably, I mean, these teams right now, they don't want to lose a point. Neither team wants to lose a point. I do 60 and done. 
Um, it's going to be a 4 7 here. That is uh, Ted Irvin here, 16 24 with a 6 10. No 3 on 3 Tiddly Winks on ice. This is going to be done after 60. No 5 and 5 either. Uh, these teams are going to play to win and not play not to lose. P4 Ted Irvin, that will be a pass. Cross to draw back to Irvin here at 16 48 with the 3 6. And D7 split and shoot 3 6. No, that is to Hall here with a 6 5. And. Um, Right defenseman, right, still waking up. <laughs> Have they even left the ice yet? 17-12 <laughs> here with a 4-6. Maybe that's why the lackluster play. Shot for Jim Nelson, 3-7. And 5-6 uh, there for Worsley Frozen. So I don't know. It feels like we got to, we gotta, maybe they play two and a half minutes here as well in a critical tight game like this. Face off in Detroit's end, 6-4. Left wing here, Bill Sutherland with it here to 17-36, 110. For oh I did say Paulford didn't I? Um, yeah, let's look the Paulford's card. I shouldn't punish him for the whole game. And one ten is going to be a shot on goal for Paulford three five not in his range. So Worsley here with a two ten. That's going to go back to Leon Rush for here at the eighteen minute mark with a two two and penalty for Rush for oh no at the Olympia Frank Boucher whoever was New York's coach at the time is absolutely maybe it's Emil Francis absolutely irate. And that is understating it. So Kurtenbach will have Paulford step on with Kurt, uh, Kurtenbach for the kill. So I shall exclude Sutherland. Um, timeout. So we'll allow them to take an extra shift here. Where for the Red Wings now, a chance to steal it and win late. They did this to Toronto earlier in the season. They were down 3 nothing, and in the third period scored four unanswered goals. Logically, you go with this line. And you know what? Goldsworthy got the goal. Let's reward him with a little extra time. Let's put Goldsworthy on the point for this. And two minutes or less here. New York's going to have to finish this four on five. Uh, if not, it's going to be a 5-11 on the draw. That will go to center, visitor center. I'm going to paradise it to Del Vecchio here at 18-24 with the 6-6 Del Vecchio. That's definitely a shot. 2-7. Oh, that's just out of his power play range. So Glenn Hall here with a 2-6. And that will go to... Uh, he'll hold on to it, actually, is what will happen. It will go to Hall. So we get a 5-9 here. That is uh, right wing here, visitor uh, Kurtenbach will be the acting right wing. Paul for the left. It's going to be a 110 for Kurtenbach here. That'll be a shot shorthanded. Kurtenbach with a 1-5, not quite in his shorthanded range. So Worsley may be getting a little lucky there. 3-5. He saw it. He was all over that. That will go back to a can't opposition center. So we're going to hold again here. Some start, stop, start, stop, play. It's going to be right wing power play. Bobby Russo, final minute of play here of the game. 3-11 here for Rousseau. And shot here in the power play for Russo. 3 4 not in his range. They got to get it to Duff. Uh, to Hall here. Hall with a 4 9. And Hall will get it to Leo Boyvin. Leo Boyvin here, 1936, shorthanded, 110. And 7. Shot on goal for Boyvin, killing time, 2 4. Uh, where's, whoop, that, that was there. So Worsley here with a 6 6. That's going to go back to left defense and bad rebound control here by Detroit. And uh, bad rebound control here by Detroit. And Harry Howell in the final 24 seconds. Uh, with They might escape with a point at least here with a five. Uh, that'll be turned over. Five, yeah, four to the center. Um, pretty sure we're out of time. The Del Vecchio with a seven. Let's see that to be three, five, nine, 12, and two stars. Del Vecchio technically with the eight. Six and two stars. Let's give him give him a chance here. Uh, four three on the shot. That's not in range anyway. That would have been blocked. So I think either way we would have had a one one tie game here. So both teams will come away a little disappointed. New York now at three four and two. Um, same record as Toronto actually. So could tiebreakers factor in? Although I th because Montreal keeps losing. Probably not. Um, Chicago is now up to six points as well. Montreal has six points. The Rangers now have eight. The Red Wings with that tie, that will improve the record to four, two, and three after nine games. They have 11 points. Um, so they are in. They are in the playoffs. And they are. They have clinched second place as well. So Detroit has clinched second place. And between... Do I not have a playoff picture in Week 10? Because between, um, 
going to have to figure this out off camera. Because a couple of three, four, and two, three, four, and two, and can they catch? If they go to four wins, that will put them at eight points. Uh, it's very slippery, though. It's very basically with the tie because they finished three, five, and two. So Montreal could still clinch. Chicago at two, five, and two after nine, three, five, and two. Anyway, I guess we still have a play out. We still have some possibilities in week 10, which is another thing that I like about a shortened season. Anyway, 1-1 uh, one, one is your final score here. And uh, yeah, both these teams must be a little disappointed. Anyway, thank you for any time and any consideration that you give to anything like this. And cheers. Thanks. Bye for now.